Welcome. This is the third video in the series on AD Certificate Services. In the first video, we installed Certificate Services. In the second video, we uh, configured uh, Certificate Services. And in this video, what we will end up doing is creating a uh, code signing uh, template and issue that code signing template. Let's get started. So I'm going to start on my certificate server. On my certificate server, I'm going to go to, sorry, dot accessories, admin tools, certificate authority. When the certificate authority comes up, I will go down to certificate template. I'll go manage the template. From there, I will find my code signing certificate and duplicate this template. I will change this to PowerShell code signing certificate. So in my next video, I will show you how to request the certificate and to code sign your uh, uh, PowerShell scripts on there. So I'm going to leave the validity and renewal period the same. The next uh, thing I'm going to do is go on to the request thing and say uh, allow uh, private key to be exported. I am going to go off to the security and I'm going to add a group called PowerShell and I'm going to spell PowerShell correctly. And what you didn't see me do earlier is create an AD security group called uh, PowerShell certs and only those members will be able to um, enroll in this uh, certificate. I just checking my quick notes. Okay, I go down to uh, subject, and I'm actually going to use the uh, common name for this and the user principal name on this, and go apply. So from this point in time, the whole certificate is set up the way I need it to be. I'm going to go OK to this and close that out. <laughs> The next step is to issue that certificate. So we take that certificate and go new certificate template. We find the PowerShell one that we just, we find the PowerShell one that we just created and go OK. And with that step, we've um, taken the certificate. We have uh, cloned the uh, code signing certificate we have made the adjustments to it that we want we've then turned around and issued the certificate now people within the powershell security group can request that certificate the last part of this video is to actually request the, this certificate that we've just created for that i'm going to move over to my mem server so I'm going to go over to my mem server and bring up the mmc.exe. And we go, OK, yes to this. We're going to add in the certificate node. We're going to keep it from my personal account. We're going to go OK. We're going to go right click task and say request certificate. Next, next. And we see the, the PowerShell one here. So we go enroll. And finished. And if we go down to our certificates, we can see this code signing certificate for uh, has been issued today. In my next video, I'll show you how to use the certificate to code sign your PowerShell scripts. Please subscribe to the Ask Garth newsletter and to the YouTube channel. This will keep you up to date on all the latest config man or Intune related details that we're uh, talking about now.